Hey guys, welcome to another episode of Let's Sew with me. Yep, another exciting episode where you get to watch me sew and you don't learn anything at all. In this episode, I'm very excited about Splatoon 2. Can you tell? Holy cow, you guys. I I am so excited. I think I think the only other game I would be more excited for right now would be Animal Crossing for the Switch. But that's not going to happen. Not anytime soon. I do, however, have some very grim news about this for myself. My sister is visiting me from America, which is great, but she's going to be here when Splatoon comes out, so I guess I can't play it for a few days. No! So obviously, because I am so excited for this game, I wanted to do some fan art for it because, well, I actually want to draw fan art for something, for once. And it's been over a month since I've sewn some ornaments, so I thought this would be the perfect time to do another Let's Sew video. I was originally going to draw something for Splatoon, but it, again, it's one of those things where I just wasn't feeling it, so I didn't want to push it. And I always feel like ornaments just have a little bit more meaning to them because they're, I guess, a little bit more useful than a drawing. I get to put them on my Christmas tree for a few weeks and yeah, that's about it. But with a piece of fan art, I would just end up sticking it into my pile of watercolors and never looking at it again. So I figured this is the more fun route to take. Okay, okay, okay. I need to stop bashing fan art and actually talk about what I'm doing. I wanted to make ornaments of Pearl and Marina because they are so adorable and their personalities are just so different from each other that I just really wanted to do this duo. But holy cow, they are very detailed characters for an ornament. So I was very, very intimidated when thinking about making these characters, especially because their hair has a gradient and I had no idea how I was going to do that. I've never done that with felt before and I just, I, 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 I don't know. So to help myself ease into this process a little bit, I played a little bit of Splatfest on Saturday, got super pumped, saw Lil Judd and I lost it. Lil Judd is so teeny and so fuzzy that I thought it would be the perfect ornament to start off with. If I failed with the girls, I would at least have a couple of kitties to come out of this with. Because if I'm going to make Lil Judd, I have to make Judd too. They're a pair. One feature of Lil Judd's that I made sure to keep was how fuzzy he was. So I stitched in a couple of little lines that just made him look a little bit more fuzzy than Judd did. And then it was time for Pearl. I started off with her because she was a lot less complicated than Marina. Marina has about 7,000 tentacles on her head and there's just so many more details on her that oh, I was just so intimidated to make her. As I mentioned before, the thing I was the most scared about was the gradients in their hair because I had no idea what I was going to do. I've used dye before while making plushies in the past, but I was too lazy to go out and buy dye, so I ended up using watercolors to dye my felt, which I do not recommend because I have no idea what this is going to end up like in a couple years. I don't plan on getting these wet anyway, so there's no worry about that. But yeah, I don't know. This was just a quick fix and if they explode in a year, well then I guess they explode in a year. Overall, I found Pearl's design to be pretty easy to work with when translating to felt. However, Marina was a different story. Ignoring her 5,000 tentacles and her gradient, there was something about her face that I was having trouble putting down as felt. I think the main thing that bugs me about her is that the black around her eyes isn't as prominent, I guess, as the squids because it doesn't connect in the middle. So she just kind of looks like a human with tentacles on her head. Also, her face is just so much more adorable as a character than felt. So I wanted to do her justice and it was kind of hard. Aside from how well the gradient actually worked as watercolor on the felt, there are a couple of features and small details that I really, really like about these ornaments. My favorite being their little zipper dingle dangle things. 
I love little details on my ornaments where things hang or things are like an extra item. They always end up making the ornaments look so much cuter. The second being their eyes. It's not as noticeable, but it's just a small detail that I really like. Because I used buttons, I was able to stitch in with the right color to make those weird shapes in their eyeballs, which it's just a small detail that I like personally. Well, that's it for this Let's Sew. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Let me know in the comments below. Are you Team Pearl or Team Marina? Let the fight begin. Thanks for watching guys, and I will see you next time. Bye.